his background. He was a stand-up comedian, um, and uh, he was uh, actually someone who would uh, be pretty political in his uh, art, uh, and uh, eventually he became a star of a television series, and then uh, he played a president uh, who he played a school teacher who became president of uh, Ukraine, and then. At a certain point, he decided that he actually wants to turn that script into reality, and he had a absolutely smashing win uh, at the um, electoral polls. The previous president uh, of Ukraine didn't see it coming, uh, and uh, so uh, it's from the Ukrainian perspective, it's understandable how a artist can play an important role in politics. But I would uh, took a wider uh, look at this situation uh, through the last hundred years when uh, the Russians were trying to wipe out Ukrainian language, wipe out Ukrainian identity. It was basically the activism of people in arts, starting from music, songs, pop culture, going into um, paintings and uh, other visual arts, who actually were at the core of the resistance. And um, it was very difficult uh, for the uh, Soviet government to make sure that Ukrainian um, uh, culture is contained. Basically, the Soviet uh, system allowed only certain uh, manifestations of Ukrainian culture, uh, and the other manifestations were deemed to be anti-Soviet and, uh, and were not uh, allowed to be practiced freely. Uh, and, but then, if you have a songwriter whose songs become so popular that millions of people sing them, uh, any oppressive government can do very little about it. During this war, one of the things that we noticed was the incredible war of memes. Uh, Ukrainians would produce these memes uh, in incredible numbers, uh, and that would be, again, grassroots movement, where a lot of people would make uh, cartoons, would make uh, short videos for TikTok or for other social uh, networks, and then they would become viral and go and uh, energize millions. And um, these uh, um, uh, contents basically were used for uh, to mobilize people to uh, help crowdfund the um, money for refugees, uh, help um, get uh, the shelters uh, uh, built, or uh, help rebuild, for instance, uh, the houses that were destroyed uh, on liberated territory. 